hello beautiful people welcome back to our channel we're actually on countdown or sit at home uh, order by ipb indigenous people of biafra ahead of uh, the visitation of uh, the president of nigeria president mahmoud Buhari. of course uh, lots of political elite have started talking reactions are coming from nigerians and um ohanes and Debo, uh, the government of the day governor hopo zadema and of course the leadership the traditional monarchs are talking a lot of uh, things are on standby awaiting the arrival of the president before going to the newspaper to find out what the is and the elite are counting on people directive and they're ready for showdown would like you to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button beside it you see a bell notification icon please go ahead click on it to get notified as soon as we update our channel on youtube a quick recap the governor of Imo state governor hope is said security is on ground and of course there will be a, a mammon crowd waiting to receive uh, the president of nigeria well the youth in Imo state also have been urged by the youth wing of the Igbo social political group or hannes and to come out and mass on Thursday to welcome President Muhammad Buhari to the state. The group maintained that Igbo youth would welcome Buhari to the state and give him all the necessary hospitality. This was said by his deputy national leader, Owonya Sanya Jones, who charged security agents to deal with any individual or group planning to perpetrate attacks on those that come out to welcome the president. But this was contrary to the claims by the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, that Buhari is not welcomed to the state. IPOB had declared a sit at home in protest against the president's visit to the state. According to him in a statement, as we are all aware, the president and commander in chief of armed forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Muhammad Buhari, shall be in Imo State on official working visit on September 9, 2021. The president's visit to Imo is his first working a visit to the state since taking office in 2015 quite a long one and the very first time to the, the very first time the state is hosting a president on a working visit since 2009 it is delightful to note that the president is not coming for a jamboree but for serious businesses that every Igbo ne Igbo son or daughter should look forward to it is on the strength of the above that Igbo youth worldwide have resolved not only to welcome the president to the eastern heartland, Imo state, but also come out in their numbers to give the president the hospitality he deserves within the period he is in Imo. May I reiterate that Igbo youth are peace-loving, hard-working, and honorable uh, people and would therefore not bring themselves to take part in any act that aims to disrupt this important state event. Anyone or group of people found to be involved in any act aimed at disrupting this state visit or harassing those who wish to participate should be treated as invaders or felons and not doing so on behalf of a neighbor or Igbo youth they claim wow this is getting interesting and in another news very quickly still on the same visit of uh, president muhammad buhari you know we have two fractions of ohanese youth well ohanese Nibo, but this particular one also is the national youth leader of ohanese Nibo worldwide engineer damian okafo on wednesday said that president muhammad buhari can't come to Igbo land and hear all the problems of the region and still leave without providing a solution especially to the killings of citizens by herders Mm. The group made this known through a statement signed by the leadership of Ohanes and Dibo Youth and forwarded in Abakali Kedebony State Capital. The statement reads in part the August visit of President Mohammed Buhari, GCFR, to Igbo land in Imo State. I would like to appreciate the Almighty God for keeping us all alive in the face of. 13 security challenges that have affected our dear nation. Our region, Southeast, has survived one of the most gory and grisly civil wars in the history of mankind. Based on the realities of, of unfolding events, the war was suspended but not ended. The marginalization of Indibo has proven to us that we are enjoying a visual relationship with the people that have promised to put the past behind. A situation where an Igbo man is not considered worthy to be appointed into key security structures that are service chiefs of this country, even when the region has fallen under a constant attack, basic infrastructural development of the region has been neglected by the central government 
at the peril of our governors when the Federal Character Commission that is supposed to ensure the equitable distribution of job opportunities to all nooks and crannies of the country appears to be working against the Igbo nation. We are constantly accused of such crimes that we don't have the capacities to commit. The worst of it all is when it has been established that the Igbo nation is living in existential threat, we did not only put our our only hope on God, but we also believe that this golden opportunity with your excellency, the president will help us address some of the issues. It is believed that Mr. President cannot come to Igbo land, hear all our problems and leave us without a solution, especially in the carnage being perpetrated by headers, the exclusion of the Indibos in service chiefs appointment, the underdevelopment of Igbo nation, the high rates of unemployment among Igbo youth, the socioeconomic war against Igbo nation, among other things. Let us once again rekindle our hope and believe in the word of God who says that to the living there is hope. Ndibo should have a better beginning than secession and a situation where our brothers and sisters in the northern communities, especially the city of Jos, that was recently under ruthless attack, have refused to return home. Even when the delegations from the southeast have approached them to come back should be a thing of concern to all of us. Continuing the violent agitations is endangering millions of Ndibo living outside Igbo land. Every Igbo man's life matters. In this critical time that the enemies of Ndibo have sworn to invest heavily to ensure that the ever-growing population of Ndibo is, com is commuted and abated. Wow. These guys are actually saying opposite directly parallel opposite to what an indigenous people of Biafra do so sex those agitating to leave Nigeria. They are saying look shave your agitation show it now that the president is coming down to southeast Imo state in particular the heartland of Imo that this is the best time to begin to table their problems tell them why you know find out why should headers be committing so much heinous crime against the Ndibos in their in, uh, 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 indigenous land ancestral land and yet their goal is called free why up to now the indigenous people that's indeed don't have and not you know enjoying some of the key positions like being a service chief and all that well i may if you permit me to say a thing or two i'm sure the ipops that have they actually have different opinion now going forward already the governor of Imo State have promised maximum security for as many that will be coming out. And of course, they did not stop at that. They've also told the youth to come out in mass. Or Hannes and Debo youth are saying they're going to come out in mass and there will be standby security to ensure any form of mismovement by any group of persons or individual. They'll have it hot 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 now it's gonna be showdown. Uh, but indigenous people are therefore just asking for one thing, sit at home. You can come out. So you now see that unconsciously if you come out <laughs> let's see how this will play out let's see in the conversation hey this is really something